Kyle, this is Kirk. Kirk, this is Kyle. We're not. We're not. I'm not considering. We're trying to do something that is tapping into what was great about music. Whoa! Like, sh- we turned it down. We were like, no, go. we don't need that. We're recording. Okay. Are you gonna ask us a question? Yes. Um. I mean, it is an interview. I have. But, no, 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 no. If you were to describe different elements of KK, different elements put into the recording and the show and your mindset, if you know music and, and how notes are created with the atoms in the air and, and what happens when you know music hits your ears and what happens in your brain and your body and you realize how much like music is essential to like human nature and and like human evolution and so like I think you know well you know we were doing something kind of simple and just kind of mimicking our favorite favorite artists and kind of like chopping up you know, 12 different songs and making them... <laughs> oh. <laughs> but there is sort of kind of an homage and a tribute with this record. We kind of wear that on our sleeve. It's nostalgic and when that, when those familiar chords and chord progressions and changes and, and feels and... I mean, we, we were trying to do mimic everything down to like Kyle the whole entire time was like, okay, we gotta take the tambourine and pan it right. You know, that's how they do it on Rubber Soul. We gotta get this stuff over here. Right. And it was like, a lot of the stuff is hard panned, not to be like, look at us, we're hard panning, aren't we crazy? It's like, no, this is Pretty like, chill, we though. listen to these records. Well, everybody can use horns and, you know, strings and stuff, but it's like really a matter of like where everything needs to be used and like using everything appropriately. And I think that's one of the things we took so much time in this record was like, yeah, everything in its right place. Kurt. Do you want to do it again? Yeah. And you are? I'm Thomas. And you play what? Guitar and stuff, man. Thomas, is there any theory on the stash that you go with? Uh, any stashes that you really admire? You know what, like, like I wanted to be a count, which I'm not really sure exactly what that is, but I'm almost positive it has something to do with, like, land ownership, do you know? Like, owning, it, like, land, right? And this is ghetto fabulous with fine art, it's a dichotomy of fine art with graffiti. If I wanted to be a count, but maybe without the land, but still be a count, and I figured that th- that's what this is. So the record's ready, CD release, words. I hope people like it. We have our record release show, 18th of February, at the Triple Door, and Josh Tillman. We're gonna play the whole record at the show, so... Oh yeah, from front to back, so that'll be like a couple hours worth of music. This one's called Cloud Country, and uh, it's just like a, uh, it's kind of like an instrumental track. It's like an second.
first record that I ever bought personally with my own money was another bad creation. What was it? Urban Dance Squad, A Deeper Shade of Soul. Uh, I think was, I don't really even have a good story. It was Blonde and Blonde, I think. It was Blonde and Blonde. It's Weird Al Yankovic. Oh, no. And I loved it. And I, I learned so many, like, <laughs> classic songs. And I heard the Weird Al version. Then I heard the <laughs> real ones. I just couldn't, like, it tripped me out for a long time. Um, Could you imagine if, if that's what people just started calling you just because of the way you were? The master of time and space. Only Those are important I things. If I can bear that response. I don't want it. I just got Phil Peterson. <laughs> no. The master of time and space. <laughs> I don't, the mayor I, of Spaghetti Town. That's a that's lot enough. of responsibility. I, I'll the take mayor, mayor of Spaghetti, spaghetti Town. Town. Kyle hates this part on the record. But Phil and I left it in because... It's pretty funny, and um, he's such a perfectionist, and it's him fucking up. And, uh, I'm just gonna... Hey, I messed up, bro.